Hi everyone! Caroline with you today to show you how I organize my Lindy stash. I'm in love with Lindy's product for many years now and I have accumulated a lot of products. I got to find a way to have a quick look at the colors I have on hands to optimize, to optimize my time. I've made a document with Photoshop to make it easier. I print it on the regular standard paper and I cut it in half. That gives me two pages. I found clear pockets to protect them. You can find the binder and the pockets at Staples or in any office supply store. The model for the pockets is Avery 77007. When I received my Lindy's order, I fill up my sprays with warm water and set it aside for about 10 minutes, the time to get my material for my chart. I have two kinds of stickers. I color one of each, and when they are dry, I put one on the top of my spray bottle to have a quick look, and the other one in my book to have a comparison between the shades I own. For example, when I need a pink, I take my color chart, and at a glance, I see all the shades I can use. It's easy then to choose the right one to fit with my projects. I did the same with my Magicals and my Embossing Powders. The Magicals are classified by kits. You can see the names above. And the Embossing Powders are classified by shades. For the new Magical Shakers, I put one sticker under the container and one in my book. You can see here all the color of the magical shakers. It, take a, it takes a certain time to organize everything if you have a lot of products, but it's worth the time. You can also do it with your ink pads, gelatos, or any mediums that you want. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will put my printable chart on the Lindy's blog for those who want to get started. Thank you, and see you soon!